Space 2013 Bassmasters Classic winner and Elite Series angler. I'm here today to introduce to you three new baits that I designed. I have a swimming jig, a football head jig, and a flipping jig, and they're all gonna be listed under the Pacemaker Series. And what it is that, in my opinion, makes these jigs all so unique is basically the hook that they're built around. You know, most jig manufacturers use a industry standard stock hook. This is actually a custom hook for this jig. It's a heavy wire five aught hook. The key thing about it is it's a 30 degree bend, flat eye. A 30 degree bend does, it allows you to drop the elevation of the head lower, which increases the bite of the hook. Now this hook is in all three jig designs in, in every size. The first jig in this line I want to talk about is the flipping jig. The thing that's beefed up about the flipping jig is it has a bigger fiber guard. The swimming jig has a standard 8 inch fiber guard, but the flipping jig, because it want to pitch it in and out of cover, I put a 532nd diameter heavy fiber guard in it. So it makes it really, really snag resistant. <clears throat> the flipping jig is a very detailed head, it has a recessed line tie, helps prevent it from getting hung up. The flat eye 30 degree hook puts the fish most of the time on the roof of your mouth, which is what we're all looking for. If you look at this head, and you'll notice every one of these jigs, there's something about the bottom of it that's really important. And the reason for that is the bottom of your jig is really the most important part to me. The bottom of your jig is what rests on the bottom of the lake. The bottom of this jig, the flipping jig, actually has a concave cup built into it. You see a lot of real flat jig on the market. By putting the cup in it, instead of it being flat, what that basically does is basically like having a motorcycle with two kickstands on it because it creates two outer ridges, which helps stabilize the bait much better. This bait will sit in an upright position much better on the bottom than just a flat surface jig will because of the fact that one side pushes against the other. It, it allows you to keep the jig in an upright position, not only for the hook set, but also in your presentation. The swimming jig itself, um, real natural paint job, super realistic 3D eyes, it's got a very detailed finish in it. Uh, the eye sockets are, are very deeply in, embedded into the head of the bait, which prevents the eyes from getting knocked out. Uh, if you roll it around rocks and things of that nature, it helps protect them. Uh, the main thing about this jig, to me, that is unique, and what I like about it the most, is the, is the bottom of it. The bottom of this jig, if you look at it, it has basically a center point. You know, it's not curved, it's not flat, it's, it has a center ridge that runs down it. And because this jig is designed to retrieve through the water in, in a swimming fashion, what that does is it creates two angled flat sides on each side of the bait, a left and a right. So what happens is you reel this lure through the water, as your line comes in contact with the stick, as the lure gets to it, <clears throat> the line will actually cause the bait to hit the piece of cover in a way because of the front of the head shape, it rolls the hook point away from the cover, which makes the bait hang a tremendous amount less the 60 degree bend hook being reduced to a 30 makes the bait hook fish better than any, any jig I've ever fished with. Now, the football jig is a little different from most football jigs that you see on the market. I actually won the classic football head jig. This football head jig has everything in it that I always want. There's a, there's a few things when you fish a football head jig that you need, in my opinion. You need a football head jig that you can fish in brush. You know, a lot of times we fish these deep lakes, we fish offshore brush piles, and there's not a lot of them on the market that are really snag resistant. This one is. It has an upsized fiber guard, which allows it to be very snag resistant. The other thing I like about this head over the rest of them is it's much more stable. If you look at this head compared to a regular football head jig, the bottom of it is somewhat flat, but I'm gonna get to the bottom of it in a minute, but it's, it's very wide. This is only a half ounce jig and it's probably the width for most three quarters. And what that width does for the bait is it create, creates a platform for the bait to sit on, which, which helps the bait stay upright throughout the, throughout the retrieve much better than just a curved bottom football head jig like we're all accustomed to fishing with. The other thing I like about the football head jig or what I've always wanted one to do, when you make a cast with a football head jig and you're dragging along the bottom, the dirt that it kicks up off the bottom is a huge part of getting a bite. I think that it, that's the most natural appearance that you can use, or presentation you can use with a football head jig is to simply just drag. I don't simply hop it, I don't do a lot with it because I'm trying to envision a, a, a crawfish crawling along the bottom, and as that crawfish just crawl along the bottom, it's making a little dirt bite. And when I built this jig, 
I put in the bottom of it, it's got a triangle raised portion in the bottom of the head. And what that does is as you drag it on the bottom, it, it does exactly what I'm talking about. It helps kick dirt up off the bottom. And I've got it angled in a way, starting narrow at the front, going wider in the back, so that it pushes the sediment out from under the jig, which creates a much bigger dirt cloud on the bottom, which in my opinion increases your strike zone much better. Now, this football head jig has the same 30 degree hook in it, recessed line tie, just like everything else. You know, I, I'm really happy with these baits. I'd love for you to give them a try. This line of jigs basically gives me what I need to fish all over the country. So I'm sure if you just take a look at them, you'll find one that fits where you are. Number 13, Bassmaster Classic Champion, Game Face Cliff Payne.